Hello and welcome to my channel, Hardware AI. It's been a while since I published my last video. It's because I was mostly traveling from the end of August. I went to Make a Fair Moscow with Seed Studio and also visited National University of Science and Technology or MISIS in Moscow. After that, I took a plane to my hometown in Siberia, where I am now. It's exactly how you would imagine Siberia would be like. Kidding. Just yesterday it was amazing, sunshine, and I haven't had any vodka since I left Moscow. Anyways, this is going to be a relatively short video where we'll explain the basics of object detection and how to train an object detection model for use with CanDrive K210 chip. Uh, for example, in Cypeed Makes board series and some new boards. Image recognition or image classification models. Take the whole image as an input and output a list of probabilities for each class we are trying to recognize. It is very useful if the object we're interested in occupies a large portion of the image and we don't care much about its location in the image. But what if our project, say a face tracking camera or raccoon tracking camera, requires us not only to have a knowledge about the type of object in the image, but also its coordinates? And what, what about project requiring detecting multiple objects, for example for counting? Here is when object detection models come in handy. In this article we'll be using YOLO you only look once architecture and focus the explanation on internal mechanics of this particular architecture. So here's a top level view on what's going on when YOLO architecture neural network performs an object detection on the image. According to the features detected by feature extractor network, for each grid cell a set of prediction is made, which include the anchors offset, anchor probability, and anchor class. Then we discard the predictions with low probability and voila, we have our predictions. Here is sped up version of what I'm describing in the tutorial. First we configure the environment with Anaconda. Then we start the training. And after it is finished, we convert the TF light model directly to K model. The next step depends on if you are going to write the K model to device's flash memory or to SD card. In my case, I will write the model to device's memory, and after it's done, execute an example script. Now let's go and search for some raccoons in Google. Candride K210 is a solid chip for computer vision, flexible, albeit with limited memory available. So far in my tutorials, we have covered using it for recognizing custom objects, detecting custom objects, and running some Open and V-based computer vision tasks. I know for a fact that it is also suitable for face recognition, and with some tinkering, it should be possible to do pose detection and image segmentation, for example for monocular depth estimation. Feel free to fork my GitHub repos and do some awesome things yourself with it. Until the next time!